So this is D, and this is my thrown together aquascape. Following Rachel O'Leary, she kind of started a little therapeutic challenge to all of us to take what we got and make something out of it. But if you know me, this is what I always do. <laughs> that was one of my mother's favorite sayings. I keep her alive by living through her sayings. She used to always say, take what you got and make what you need until you can afford what you want. And by then, you don't need it no more. And this is my little mini cube. I threw it together. Um, I actually threw it together a minute ago, but I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little bit more about it. And one of my big things that I'm on right now, since we're talking about reusing materials, is Hydra slash Aquaponics. And the difference between hydroponics and aquaponics is aquaponics, you're using aquarium fish to fertilize the water in which you're using to grow your plants. So let me tell you about the cube. Um, it was some cube that I just happened to get for like $20. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is a really nice cube. One of my local spots over here, amazing aquariums over here by Bay Parkway. And I was like, wow, I could get rid of my little tank that I had slapped over here and use the cube and it gave me a little more height and continuity. But let me tell you what I did with it. First of all, you know I love my pothos. My pothos is a very, very fast growing garden plant. I use it to cycle my aquariums because pothos is a house plant that you can grow rooted in the water and grow out and it is super duper at absorbing nutrients. So I took my pothos out of the two gallon, stuck it in here. You can see it's Roots are wrapped around here. I'm actually getting growth already. I took a little bowl that I had in my backyard and I planted some chain sword in it <laughs> with some dirt on the bottom, covered in some leftover gravel that I had sent, uh, sitting around in the backyard. I got a artificial plant that's actually getting a little nutty with algae in the back, but um, <laughs> I had this baby in there but I really didn't like, I thought it was more of an accent because you know these things after a while, the wheels start, they start getting stuck and it was driving me nuts. So I uh, stuck that on the side as a little decor. This plant up here, I believe is called Calico and it is a really beautiful plant. doesn't need a lot of water. And uh, let me see if I can get a good shot of that. Yeah, Calanco, Calanco here if I'm saying it. If I'm saying it wrong, it's because I'm a dummy. <laughs> but anyway, I slapped that over there, so I'm actually taking water from that. Every time I need to do a water change, I'm taking that water and using it to water my plants. This is some basil seed that I have growing over there on the side. Um, I got some rocks that I had in my tub outside to hold back what looks like a dam of gravel because I didn't want to fill this tank with gravel. I just wanted to use whatever was left over. I have some black river rock, river stone down here. Focus here. Some black river stone and some pea gravel that I had left over from a yard project. I just left that in the back to make like a little retaining wall. And uh, what else do I have in there? Oh, a lily bulb that I'm hoping that will grow. I pulled that from the greenhouse and stuck that onto a little river stone so that it would stink with some uh, glue. You know I love my dollar store glue and it works like a charm. And uh, my Glow Beta, which is absolutely stunning in this tank. It is so bright, um, really awesome. I mean, so bright, you see from halfway across the room. And uh, that is my little cube. And uh, Rachel, you're, you're really good at throwing those ideas out here. I'm about as technologically savvy as you. I was trying to uh, set up a little automatic watering thing for my plants, but uh, I was like, you know what, now you're going too far. So I did pull another plant from the backyard from a cutting, and it actually flowered. I forget the name of this flower, but it is really pretty. It just flowered since it has been in the house this last week. I took a cutting, I uh, took some dirt and sand so that it would be properly drained back here because under these lights it can get a little uh, dry and it can burn these leaves. If you have uh, plants growing under these strong LEDs, um, I mixed the soil with sand 
and I put a uh, little water catching container in the bottom, if you can see it there, right there, to keep its feet in water, but keep the rest of the plant dry. And it creates a little scene. Oh, my little aquarium magnet <laughs> is great for holding my forceps. So I always know where they are. They're not in the water, but uh, I have a problem with looking for stuff. So magnets are awesome. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like it. I hope it gives some uh, some ideas to a few of you guys. Hope I next time I catch you, I hope you can see whether my basil grows. I have some basil seeds uh, growing in here just on the edge of the light there. And that's it. This is D signing out. Getting my hydro slash aquaponics and recycling using everything I got, including the water. All my water change water goes to watering the plants, so I am wasting nothing. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out. Check out this flower. Looks like a rose.